Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, got a simple video and stuff. This video to me was requested to me by one of my subscribers and stuff like that. Shout out to Mentoric PL. Um, pretty much his suggestion was um, or you can say kind of question was how to check if a player has a badge, and if they do have a badge, um, how to enable a GUI. So that's the specific example I'll be showing you guys. But you guys, but this will generally work though for like if you generally just want to check if play has a badge. Like it could be like if you want to check if like they touch a part. Um, I'm gonna show you guys when they join the game. But if they touch a part, uh, if they click a GUI, it doesn't really matter. Like obviously you'd have to change the function, but generally it's the same thing. So yeah, let's let's get straight into it. First things first, let's go ahead and just create the GUI. Let's insert the screen GUI. Literally all we have to do is insert a frame. Uh, we'll call this badge GUI. Oh, badge GUI. That is nice about badge. Okay, badge GUI. And then we'll call this badge frame, right? Badge frame. And then we're going to make the GUI. Dis we're going to disable it, right? <clears throat> you can just leave it there. Like, there's no reason to customize anything at all because it's not really a point. Then we can insert a script into service script service, right? And then we're gonna name this badge script, right? And then we'll say game dot players dot player added colon connect function then delete in the parentheses for PLR which is short for player. Then press enter. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, go up to line one. Then press enter twice. I forgot when you make a variable local BS. I know how that sounds, but it's not. It's not, it's not how it sounds. But anyway, local BS is equal to game get service badge service bs stands for badge service but yeah right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if bs it's something badge yeah user has badge that's what it is. user has badge so we're gonna get the player's user id so we're gonna do plr dot user id comma then here you would put the badge right the badge id now i'll go ahead and show you guys how to get uh, bad idea. So pretty much you would go to game settings right here, click home, go to game settings. I know you guys cannot see it, but just follow along what I'm saying. You would click game settings and then um, you would go down to monetization, it's the third tab. Then you'll see badges. Um, you click create to create your badge and do all that stuff, right? And then you just see three little dots next to the badge. If you already have it created, you would click those three little dots, then click copy ID to clipboard, and then you close it out and boom, you have your ID. You can go ahead and press Control V to paste that, and boom. Then enter, right? So pretty much, if the player owns this badge, then the following will happen. So what we can do is we can do player dot player gui dot badge gui dot enabled is equal to true. Now, of course, we need to also add in a wait for child so that it waits for the gui to load before it runs, right? So we could really we could put the wait here or we could put the wait here uh i'm just gonna put it here you know just like just wait in general you know what I'm saying? so let's do player dot player gui wait for child badge gui right and just like that we are ready to go let's go ahead and click play so pretty much since i obviously already own the badge i'm just letting you know i do already own the badge so when i join the game it's gonna enable it because i own the badge hence why we see it in the top left right now if i click stop Go back to the script, literally take off the last digit. That's obviously a random badge that I obviously don't own. Um, and if I try now, as you, guys, as you guys can see, nothing is there. So yeah, Mentor, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video was helpful to anyone else who needed help. Um, who needed help know how to do this and stuff. And yeah, if the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group and district can be found in the description. Thank you guys for... Yeah, I'm moving pretty quick with the subscribers, not gonna lie, I appreciate it. I think right now we are at four we're at four twelve actually right now. Yeah, I'm moving quick, I like it. We just hit four hundred like I don't think like a week ago. Or yeah, I think Sunday makes it a week ago. But yeah, and stuff like that. And the Discord, we're twenty four members away from a hundred. Yes, I'm for sure join the Discord. Like people join every day has to join. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys.